Yo, what's going on y'all? It's Josh back again with another video. And today, I think it might be the final part because <clears throat> I didn't upload yesterday, so I already felt that. Um, but I mean, we got the bag kit, so that's good. And then uh, we also did run the wires for the air, for the valve solenoid, and then for the compressor. So basically, I just need to see what comes in this box and get right into it so this is my first expectations i haven't opened it yet nothing so if there's something missing and it's kind of going to be bummed out and you guys are going to see that so cool, cool. Let's see which way all right so slide it out this way to so, see it bag my grom by magnum elite See how this looks. I'm gonna bring you guys closer and then, yeah, you guys get a better look at this. As soon as we open it, we go ahead and we have a folder. Let's see what this says. Okay, cool. You have your instructions and everything. That's good. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Thank you. Alright, so we go ahead and we have some uh, zip ties in here. Here's gonna be you got your airline. I'm guessing it's gonna be your dump valve maybe. Yep, your dump valve here. So he went ahead and uh, we got a bag my grump sticker. I'm guessing this is gonna be the foam for this. I assume we got some hardware here. We got the air release valve here. Boop, boop, boop. So that's his. We got the compressor here. I'm not sure if this is exactly how it comes in. <clears throat> this is how the compressor looks. Let's check this out. This thing is tiny, man. Cool, cool, cool. This is how this looks, y'all. Just got basic positive and negative. Your quick release valve or uh, for your air. I'm guessing these are your mount bolts and your vibrators. Oh, uh, here's a slow release valve. That's right. Sheesh. I was just thinking about making it for my bike, like in case he didn't send it. Good thing I don't have to do it no more. So that's for the compressor. And we got the bag stuff itself here. So this is it here, y'all. Pretty basic. You got your bag kit. And he threw in the lanyard. Lanyard. There's plenty of more zip ties. Should have enough zip ties. Shouldn't hopefully use mine. See what this is. He did throw in a stand. Not sure if it's gonna work, but he wants me to try it out. This is part of the kit here. Factory hole, you would need to also drill out, shift this side to the mount. Let's see how this is going to work. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the air out stand, basically. Um, this goes here. We'll see if I need it. I'm not sure if I will. We'll see, we'll see. Thank you. Appreciate it, boss. Alright, guys. Without further ado. 
Okay, let's get into uh, putting this bad boy together. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and take this side of the fairings off, and then from there we're gonna go ahead and mount the shock, and then from there we're gonna start go ahead and wire everything up. So everything's just gonna be fast forwarded from here. It's gonna take a while. I have to legit retrofit this kit because it's not for this bike exactly. So there's no other video out there. He requested me to do this, so might as well just get it done. And do. All right guys, so the camera died. I don't know what the hell happened, but we went ahead and put the lower shock mount and also we put the upper shock mount here. Uh, there's two bolts that go in here. I drilled this one out just a little bit more for the Vader. And then you have your upper, which is here. And this comes in contact with here to put the pressure on this piece of pipe. Otherwise than that, everything came out good. This doesn't make contact. The good thing I did an extra three inch because I forgot I totally modified this. So I didn't think this was going to be an issue, so I had to cut it. Drill another hole had like a half inch below. But if you have the stock swing arm location, you'll be fine with this mount. Um, but right now we're actually going to mount this onto the swing arm. And then from there start running all the lines and then start doing power. Do you want to pop it off? Alright guys, so like I said, we mounted the compressor here. It goes up right here on this mount and we went ahead and did a cross like an x zip tie mount uh we got to fix this here this pinch we got to lower it but you got this valve going in here go straight in from the compressor into there then you got the drop and it goes all the way down here and it, this is for the dump valve so this is how basically how it looks you got the whole setup in this this area here i want to put this in a different location but as for now this is all i could do until I get some more time. But we're gonna go ahead and start doing all the electronics and basically hooking everything up to the switches and get everything functioning. So let's get right into that. All right, y'all, so it's already night as y'all can see, but I got the bike put back together. Everything went pretty well, except that, I don't know if you guys can see, this is, the, this is a 10 amp. I keep clicking the button, nothing's wrong with that actually. But you see how the lights flicker? Uh, I ordered a new one and I put it on and it was defective. So that kind of pissed me off. So I ordered another one and I'm gonna replace it. Uh, otherwise than that, everything went pretty smooth. Everything was pretty good. The only thing I would recommend if you're putting it on, this, on a electric, like just a straight electric bike Grom, is to put relays. If you're putting on a gas one, go for it. Knock yourself out do as what the kit says but for sure you need relays because i had wired it up to the switches and whatnot and it just burnt them out so i went ahead and bought brand new switches hooked up some relays 
and otherwise and that everything went smooth so the kits basically straight after this um gonna put some notes in for a magnum and otherwise than that everything's pretty good so hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any other questions let me know because i'm still going to be taking it apart make sure to leave a comment down below make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a like like i've always said stay motivated and let's get it